Welcome back. He's the owner of one of the most visited for-profit Catholic websites on the planet. Tonight in an Eyewitness News exclusive, new allegations against the Bakersfield man who owns the site and why former employees say he's now turning the tables on them. I mean, look at me. I'm sitting here with Jack. And I didn't do anything. Shackled and in jail, a distraught Jennifer Wood arrested and accused of threatening to kill her former boss. And I don't understand how he, he can call the police and just tell him that I said I was going to kill him and they didn't even want any evidence. They just come and get me. After two plus years selling advertising for the website Catholic Online, she found another job, quit, and asked for her final paycheck. Claiming she was owed for three pay periods over $5,100, she sent email after email. Mr. Galloway, can I ask you a question, please? We've got some employees saying that you're not paying them. To this man, her one time boss, and the website's owner, Michael Galloway. She is not an employee of Catholic Online. She's never been an employee okay, of Catholic Online. But you Online. paid her, correct? I didn't pay her nothing. If Galloway's name sounds familiar, you're right. He's the owner of the highly valuable internet domain, Catholic.org. In 2007, the Kern County District Attorney filed suit against Galloway for unlawful, unfair, and fraudulent business practices. As we reported in an exclusive Eyewitness News investigation, Galloway once owned Catholic Financial Services, an online donation processing system. Nonprofit groups across the U.S. and Canada, like disabled nuns in Brantford, Connecticut, and the Archdiocese of New Orleans, accused Galloway of withholding their cash and not transferring funds to their bank accounts. Galloway agreed to pay restitution, $210,000. Then, in 2008, the State Labor Board sided with former Galloway employee Mark Lombard for back pay of $41,000. Did you threaten Mr. Galloway? No. Fast forward to today, and Jennifer Wood, who admits she's no angel, serving three years probation after firing a gun in the presence of her ex-husband, says Galloway is less than truthful. A copy of a paycheck she supplied to us shows a signature she says belongs to Michael Galloway. And this email responding to Wood dated June 20th saying your check was put in the mail shows it came from the Catholic Online Accounting Department. There are several employees, Mr. What Galloway, that have contacted us. S yes, it several. is. What do you mean several employees? Several employees have contacted us. Okay, about what? About the fact that you're not paying them what you owe them right now, that you're behind they on payroll. You know they have a legal remedy. That's, that's happening all around the country. With the payroll situation being what it is, everyone is very much in limbo. Nick Liondecker yeah, so says Galloway owes him, too, roughly $5,000. He worked off and on for 18 years as an independent contractor, managing Catholic Online's network services servers and systems infrastructure. He too recently quit. There's other employees that have quit and have not been able to get final checks. The two causes that they give us most consistently are having to catch up on payroll taxes and uh, a reduction in sales. In fact, Galloway himself confirms as much in this memo dated May 15th, obtained by Eyewitness News, in which he signs off by adding, quote, I am sincerely yours in Christ, Michael Galloway. But Michael Galloway's payroll problems with his website don't end there. Eyewitness News has unearthed a pattern of not paying others and more. The IRS, a $239,000 tax lien. The state of California, $11,000 tax lien. The Seven Oaks Homeowners Association, over $7,900 for association fees. And the Bakersfield law firm of Klein Di Natale, $94,000. There are also several allegations of plagiarism against his website. Emails we obtained by the Huffington Post, CNET, AOL, to name a few, all accuse Catholic Online of stealing their work. But former workers stress more than anything, it's Galloway's demeanor alleging a hostile work environment. I remember um, one of the first sales meetings that uh, I attended, uh, he was at the meeting and slammed his hand on the desk and threw out an F-bomb four or five times and, and this is supposed to be Catholic Online and um, I don't want to take God's name in vain but he said that several times about how we were screwing him and taking money out of his pocket. Steve Miles says he worked 20 years as a salesman for a large national packaged goods firm but after three months working internet sales at Catholic Online earlier this year, he had enough. He has no skills 
of, of management. He has no uh, people skills. He has no ma uh, management skills. He has no sales skills. Everything that he is about is the next big thing. And that's where he throws all his money rather than paying his employees on time. Can we get a word with you? In the past, Michael Galloway has literally run from our questions. Any comment? But for the first time, he decided employer. to talk. Do you like Catholics? Are you Catholic? What's that? Do you like Catholics? It has nothing to do with the story, whether like I'm Catholics? Catholic, Jewish, or whatever. It has like to Catholics? do with, do are you, like you paying your employee, do you like Mr. Catholics? Galloway? You His responses, you though, know? quickly turned into derogatory name-calling. You're a little uh, angry, little Hispanic man, Geraldo. You don't know me very Isn't well. Is your name Geraldo? You don't know me very well. Is your name Geraldo? Is that how you treat like a pinhead. <laughs> you are a pinhead. Is that how you treat your employees you here by pinhead. calling them? Anything else to say, Mr. Goodbye, Galloway? little man. Go, go eat some tacos. Now, after four days in jail, Jennifer Wood was released and never charged and is now working her new job. She filed a complaint for her back pay with the state labor board, and on Monday, a day before a pre-conference labor board hearing, Michael Galloway suddenly showed up with two checks for two pay periods amounting to over $1,700. However, Wood says she is still short $1,600 for a third pay period, plus another $8,000 in penalties for missed paydays. A hearing date is pending. She's also filed a complaint with the state's Fair Employment and Housing Department alleging a hostile work environment. Of course, we'll keep you updated on Jennifer Wood's complaints and on Mr. Galloway.